The news you count on. NBC2 News at 11. There are many pieces to the puzzle, and none of it happens fast. It's been a long wait, but finally, crews with the crane are ready to lift dozens of massive shrimp boats stranded on Fort Myers Beach. And only NBC2 is there to get a behind-the-scenes look at the tall task ahead. Thanks for counting on us tonight. I'm Kylie Gaylor. And I'm Peter Bush. A company had to build a special crane for this operation. NBC2's Gage Golding is local tonight on San Carlos Island. The plan is to start this operation starting Friday morning, and you might be wondering, why did it take so long to get to this point? And the reason is quite simple. This monstrosity of a crane, it measures in at 160 feet tall. It's capable of picking up the upwards of 600 tons, and this entire setup that you're looking at here, the barge, the tugs, the crane, it's valued at around $10 million. This is like playing pixie sticks with 100-ton vessels. These massive shrimp boats pushed around by Hurricane Ian, now tangled up with one another like a fishing line snagged by the shore. This especially is very complicated. You just don't come in here and start picking up boats and flinging them in the water. It took weeks of preparation. Bio Brothers had to float these barges in, plus ship this crane to San Carlos Island, which, by the way, came in pieces. It took us about two and a half days to reconfigure it and build it out the way we need it. Five weeks now after Ian and work is ready to begin. Tomorrow we're going to be hooking up to um, one of the Ericsson's uh, shrimp boats. First up is the double E. Uh, we're going to try and ride it, um, apply some lift to the boat, pump out the fluids in the boat, and as we pump out the fluids, we're going to continue to lift until she uprights herself. And then we're going to slide her down into the water and get her floating again. That's where Liftmaster Kyle Bennett comes in. Everything strategically lifted. What's the toughest part of your job? Make sure all my guys go home safe every day. This multi-million dollar operation costs a pretty penny. And the big question is... Who is paying for all this to happen? It'll either fall under the, um, the state, under FDEM, or it'll fall under FEMA. In other words, the money is streaming in from several pockets with a big push from the governor. I will tell you this, Governor DeSantis was down here right after the storm. Uh, he, he knows the breadth and the, the scope of this work. Work getting started is a big step in the right direction for the fishing community. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but still a long way to go. I'm reporting local tonight on San Carlos Island. Gage Golding, NBC2.